Welcome to the third session of the metadata production track. And this session is the American University of Beirut experience in using URIs for authorities in bibliographic records for all library materials as a step ahead to linked open data and the mapping of digital materials to XPS content management system. My name is TJ Kao. I'm the head of metadata creation at the University of California, Davis. My co-facilitator, Hilary Thorson, is the resource sharing librarian at Stanford University Libraries. Our presenter for this session is Basma Chebani. Basma is a universe, associate university librarian and the head of cataloging and metadata service at the American University of Beirut Libraries. She's dealing with mapping and conversion of marked records from Sierra iOS to Dublin Core metadata for all born digital and digitized materials so they can be part of a linked data. Basma is also working with the joint project of Arabic collections online to digitize copyright. Uh, copyrights expired Arabic books from the library and make digital objects and their mark records accessible on the platform. She also participated in many conferences and done presentations about metadata and cataloging, digitization, preservation, and archiving, in addition to thesaurus building and updating. She also teaches at the Faculty of Information of Lebanese University. Before I pass the mic to Basma, I would like to go through a few things. Please use the Q&A function to submit your questions or comments during the presentation. Basma will answer questions after her presentation. You, will, you can also share, use the chat to share thoughts with our attendees to enhance your conference experience. Just in case you haven't done so, we will also like you to uh, kind of encourage you to continue the conversation through Slack and Twitter and also check out the recordings from other sessions at the 2020 LD4 conference YouTube channel. Without further ado, here's Basma. Hello, everybody. I'm very excited to share with you my experience at the American University of Beirut uh, in Lebanon. Uh, I am, uh, this is the outline of my presentation. First of at all, why do we need link data and why to join it? After I will be speaking about the structuring of Mark bibliographic and authority records using URI. Uh, since uh, UB Libraries is a member of the PCC URI pilot project. And a UB library project to convert Mark record to bib frame through Sierra library system and Zephira application uh, adopted by Sierra. Uh, mapping Mark record to digital and digitized publication uh, related to a UB community to this space uh, institutional repository and qualified Dublin core format and mapping Mark record of digital and digitized AUB special collection uh, to XTF content management system and DC XML format and mapping metadata of AUB art posters in Google art and culture platform and finally uh, an idea about the metadata harvesting services of digital collection using open archive initiative protocol for um, for metadata harvesting. So why do we need linked data? Linked data lies at the heart of what semantic web is, uh, about, uh, is all about. This is definition of worldwide the web consortium. Another definition of the Tim Berners-Lee, the director of worldwide web consortium, defined linked open data as uh, as uh, define uh, about the ne next uh, sorry defined linked open data where all kinds of conceptual things have names that start with http and where their relationships should also start with http semantic what's the meaning of semantic semantic means meaningful this is what Tim wanted from the web. Some URIs respect the semantic concept, like VF. You, you can see here the VF uh, URI for 
uh, authority uh, name authority for Abi. You can see at the at the end of the URI, this the whole name of Farabi. Uh, uh, some of URI uh, need uh, need to be looked up from uh, code to to be uh, looked up for from code to be meaningful. Like the Library of Congress authority, name authority, they have a code instead of uh, a meaningful uh, name. Here is a part of the linked data data sets. We can see that the library lays at the heart of the linked data data sets. Why? Because the libraries used mark records from the beginning of the 60s. Mark record uh, is a structured, semi-structured data using tags and values. So it is easy to uh, convert uh, the data into elements uh, and uh, be part of data sets of the linked data. Library catalog and linked data. Users query results of bibliographic data that are retrieved from relational database and library system are displayed in OPAC in HTML, but they are considered as invisible web. Solution is to structure this, 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 the data in a, in a way that computers recognize through URI links between entities and the relationship. This is a step ahead to the linked data and the semantic web. Structuring data, what's the meaning of structuring data? This is segmenting each piece of data of a per, uh, bibliographic mark record into entities and gives them standard value and URI started with HTTP. These entities are not designed to be un understood by end user. They are designed to be used by machine for harvesting and linking purposes. Example, publication information should be structured into three different entities. For example, place of publications as part of geographic data set, publisher name as part of publisher name data set, date of publication and standard pattern uh, using uh, or compliant with XML schema date. Why do you aspire to be part of linked data? I'm addressing, really, I'm addressing uh, my presentation mainly for librarians rather than IT specialists, because uh, we share the same uh, problem and issues. And uh, that's why I'm, uh, I'm making uh, some details about the, uh, why do we need uh, linked data for libraries. So we need, uh, uh, we aspire to, to be part of linked data because we want to publish uh, the structured data on the web. So we need to convert MARC bibliographic uh, data, usually encoded as MARC records field, into elements and store them in RTF, triple store, and subject predicate object with the relationship using URIs. And we need to use the application and standard and tools of the semantic web, URIs and RTF, in a manner that facilitates uh, interoperability, visibility, and discovery on the web one uh, by search engine, and to be part of linked data data sets uh, within the semantic web uh, using Sparkle query for retrieval. Big frame solution by Library of Congress. The FIRA company was engaged by the Library of Congress to design a linked data replacement for MARC. The FIRA operate as a kind of switchboard to transform the MARC record into a bib frame format to enable visibility and discovery of these resources on the web. There are efforts to customize the bib frame editor, and we saw a lot of uh, a presentation in the past uh, four days about the bib frame editor. Uh, this effort to customize the bib big frame editor to be uh, RDA, RDA compliant with seven type of user-friendly templates 
or profiles as a replacement of mark. Mark to web frame. On the web, on the web frame uh, website, there, there are two main uh, convergent tools, comparison services and transformation services to help in transformation or conversion from mark XML record to web frame. This is a screenshot of the Bib Frame Editor workplace when we can see the resources, the profile of the resources or the template of the resources, monograph, notate music, serial, cartographic, sound recording, moving image, and rare material. Very good. AUB library system, Sierra. Uh, Sierra, it is a uh, and from an innovative interface uh, in uh, two, two, uh, 2011 we started to uh, investigate about to adopt uh, a new uh, library system integrated library system to replace all the library system we had before uh, it was the millennium at that time and uh, lately two years ago it was upgraded to be Sierra, innovative from innovative interface. So all AUB library material type are included in Sierra library system, books, ebooks, photos, uh, posters, manuscript, audiovisual, archival material, etc. Around 1,800,000 title in the library catalog. RDA rules have been adopted in cataloging since 2013. Uh, the titles, the records of the titles before 2013 are still in AACR2. This is a big problem for me, personally for me, because I want to convert them to RDA. This uh, requires a lot of scripting. And, uh, but now we are, and meanwhile, before converting them to uh, RDA, uh, I'm recataloging all the Arabic titles uh, uh, out of copyright. Uh, before, I mean, pre 1956 uh, to be uh, uh, to be re and uh, to be uploaded later on uh, uh, the Arabic collections online with uh, uh, New York University uh, Library platform at Arabic col col uh, collections online. In uh, 2018, the library started to use the RDA LRM of IFLA uh, registry for relationships and linking between entities and the framework of PCC URI pilot project. These are the statistics about the AUB libraries collection in Sierra. There are many alternatives. There's alternative to Zephira, the library link hub for ILS visibility. Uh, we have to participate in the library link network and use the open source application by BibFrame and converting Mark XML from uh, li Library of Congress uh, uh, Authority, uh, uh, Library of Congress uh, 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 Mark Record Permalink to BibFrame in JSON format. And the output format, uh, output format could be in RDF, Turtle or RDF XML. But unfortunately, Sierra is a closed system. Only the company can develop it. Conversion of Mark Record to Web Frame through Sierra Zephira. Sierra promised in 2019 to add a layer to enable Mark Bibliographic Record to be visible on the web, uh, link data. But unfortunately, no implementation has been done due to the COVID-19 pandemic. This will enable the automatic conversion of Mark Bibliographic Record through Zephira to be frame to be visible and searchable on the web and later part of linked data on semantic web. AUB library preparations for linked data. Waiting for the development of Zephira and Sierra, AUB cataloging and the metadata services department is participating in PCC URI pilot project and 
is preparing for the FIRA shift by structuring mark records through URIs for authority and using RDI registry uh, relationship and relate and relators. How to enhance the uh, mark record with URI? The use of URI for structuring uh, data, mainly in authorized access point authority, names and subject authority, and bibliographic record as a step ahead to be part of linked data. The use of RDA LRM registry for linking word with expression and manifestation through 77X uh, fields, mark fields, and the use of RDA registry relators, uh, URI for main and added authors. Example of mark record uh, of Arabic title with the romanization. I want to to mention that the library of uh, the language of cataloging in uh, the library uh, in 008 field is in English for Latin script languages like English, French, German, uh, Italian, etc. In Arabic for Arabic script languages, Arabic. Persian, Ottoman, Turkish, Kurdish, etc., or Urdu, etc. Arabic titles in Arabic script are displayed in the main mark fields in 100, 110, 245, 264, etc. And Romanized fields are displayed in the related mark field in 880. Uh, librarians know very well about what I'm talking about. But uh, to, uh, in order to batch uploading in OCLC, we have to script the mark record for swapping from the main uh, main uh, fields to uh, to the related field, because uh, this is what OCLC requires from the uploading of uh, mark records. Language of the RDA type 336, 337, 338 are now in English till the final translation of RDA in Arabic. I can make a global update uh, to, uh, to, uh, to convert them into Arabic when the translation is finalized. A structured mark, mark record for expression for the translated work. This is a screenshot of a uh, Arabic title. You can see here it is RDA and the language of cataloging is Arabic. I uh, the first uh, the uh, field the mark field are 100 200 45 265 all are all in Arabic. And uh, the 880s uh, are in transliterated or romanized form. But for the linking, uh, I'm using the URIs of RDA registry for linking. For example, is translation of uh, HTTP data registry and the number. This is the meaning of is translation of. This URI means is translation of. Machines can understand that, but for the user, for the end user, we have to put this uh, meaningful information, is translation of. And this is the relationship between uh, the title, Arabic titles in, our, in my hand and the one of the original uh, available in AUB libraries. We are only making the link with the available uh, works and available expression in uh, AUB libraries. Not all the, uh, the translations exist in, in the world. You can see here that we are using the URI for, uh, for the authority, for the name authority of the author here. This is how it looks on the, on OPAC. Can, we can hear a click to retrieve 
the other uh, original uh, book in, uh, in English. For the manifestations, for the other editions called manifestations, available in the library catalog, we use uh, the RDA relationship registry URI. This is another book with 10 uh, volumes. This is how it looks. Uh, we can here uh, see two other editions. First edition, uh, this is one edition and this is the other. Uh, we can, uh, can see here in, transl in translated form uh, the information. This is very useful for the, for the user in, uh, using Arabic uh, language. For Arabic uh, user, and this is for the international user because we are uh, uploading our uh, record in OCLC and need to be transliterated or romanized. Here we can see that 775 for the linking of manifestation. We have here the URI for has designation of edition. Uh, for the first edition, and this is the second edition. This is how it looks on OPAC. As for the subject of Arabic titles, we have special practice for that. The authority file of the of uh, AUB libraries uh, use uh, Library of Congress subject headings in English, but for the Arabic title. We have we we did the translation uh, of all uh, library of not all the the subject heading used in our uh, uh, in our titles. So we have two uh, two uh, uh, two sets of subject headings. One for English. Sorry. can see here, for example, this is 600. Uh, these are name authorities uh, as subjects. And this is subject, Ashar al-Arabi. Here are three and the four, four uh, uh, subjects. I mean, I uh, <laughs> repeat the same subject twice. One in Arabic for our users. Uh, with the second indicator four, and the other in, in English to be able to, to be discovered uh, in, uh, for OCLC libraries, uh, participating libraries. This is how it looks in uh, OPAC. This is a sample of English language title of Gibran. We have the same. We can use here uh, the author URI uh, from the Library of Congress uh, uh, name authority. Now, how to uh, structure the mark authorities? This is Arabic um, uh, authorities name authority with equivalent English or transliterated form Taimuriya Aisha. This is an Arabic Taimuriya Aisha. This is another uh, authority in, in Arabic and uh, equivalent in, in English or in trans transliterated form. This is the authority record downloaded from the Library of Congress and our authority file. Now we are uh, uh, going to, to see how we map the metadata of our digitized collection. AUB publications are uh, mapped to the space institu institutional repository uh, to be archived in AUB scholar work and qualified Dublin Core. And the AUB digital collection 
uh, are uh, to be archived to be mapped and archived in XTF content management system and doubling core DC XML. To convert the mark record to metadata, uh, because we have the mark record of all we have the, of all uh, library materials, uh, analog library materials. So for the digitized material, we have to transform or to convert the mark record into metadata. We need to convert mark record of the digitized material to metadata to be archived in institutional repository or content management system in Dublin Core. Mapping of mark record of community publications and uh, staff, uh, uh, faculty publications and students and dissertations and staff publications, they will be archived in this space scholar work. Uh, we export uh, the mark record from Sierra and CSV sheet. We map the mark to qualified Dublin Core, this term. We use the script to populate metadata in the space institution repository. We upload the corresponding digital object in this space and we append the handle number to each digital object. Here, an example of a thesis of a student thesis in a UB scholar work. Uh, this is a project of uh, uh, of mapping uh, metadata to uh, uh, to this space and to uh, create a viewer for uh, the Palestinian oral history archive. POHA is a project financed by U.S. National Endowment for the Humanities (NEH). OHA is a sample of digital collection mapping project. Outline of the project, the metadata creation uh, of an oral history metadata synchronizer. We adopted the OMS metadata, uh, oral history metadata synchronizer, and we mapped the XML output of OMS to this space, and we built up a POHA thesaurus in SCOS format and implementing discovery layer and viewer in viewfind. POHA project steps. Uh, we, at the library, we have digitized the analog electromagnetic audiovisual recording of first generation of Palestinian refugees testimonies recorded in the 80s by Nakba NGOs. Use of OMS, Oral History uh, Metadata Synchronizer. This is an open uh, source tool uh, for uh, oral history developed by the Kentucky University Library. Uh, we, uh, we segmented the interview recording during metadata creation and indexing of interview in Palestinian colloquial Arabic using POHA Thedores. Mapping OMS XML output to Dublin Core and POHA instance of this space. Uh, after exporting metadata of OMS in XML output, after segmentation and indexing, uh, we extract the keyword of index terms to be used as validation list uh, to unify terms during indexing process. Uh, we built Boha Thesaurus in SCOS format from the terms resulting of indexing. There's no uh, ready-made uh, Thesaurus. We created source through uh, the indexing, indexing terms resulting from the indexing uh, process. And the finally, digital preservation of XML output uh, metadata in an instance of space. This is how uh, we, uh, we work on uh, Thedores uh, using uh, the SCOS uh, entities or SCOS element 
here uh, the preferred for example this is the preferred term the preferred uh, preferred non uh, in arabic non preferred term and uh, this is the related term and this is the broader term after uh, we uh, fill all these uh, uh, arrow, uh, these rows in uh, 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 with the, the descriptors uh, we upload all the, this information in iqvoc this is a uh, on uh, open source application that enabled uh, uh, to to check and detect the responsive uh, 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 the relation reciprocity for the uh, descriptive non descriptive and the relationship this is how uh, poha looks and on on the aub library website now google art and uh, culture AUB art poster digitized art poster collection at AUB a special collection of art poster donated to the libraries by the artist exhibit organizer in two, 2001 AUB libraries contribute in Google art and culture online exhibit with these art posters uh, in order to to be able to retrieve uh, uh, the, uh, these uh, art posters in uh, Wikipedia and uh, other link data, uh, uh, link data application, we add we have added uh, Wiki Wiki data and identifier to most of the Lebanese artists in Google Online exhibit, and we uh, finalize three stories of art and culture Google uh, uh, online exhibit about Lebanon through art poster, about one very famous uh, uh, painter, Hossein Mahdi, and the very famous uh, theater uh, drama, drama actor, uh, Antoine Carbege. We are now in, in the process of uh, uh, curating uh, women and art an art in Lebanon uh, online exhibit for Google. This is the how to map the metadata from Mark Record to Google Template. Because all these uh, art posters are already available in, uh, in Sierra library system and Mark uh, format, and we need to uh, map them to a Google template, uh, which is very similar to uh, a Dublin Core uh, element. This is how uh, uh, record of uh, an uh, of uh, poster looks like in Google Art and. Uh, culture posters uh, online exhibit you can see here the wiki data, data uh, about this uh, painter so you get uh, you get the uh, hurricalon lebanese painter this is another uh, example of the uh, uh, Google and Art uh, online exhibit of Hussein Mahdi. AUB Library Digital Collection. We have nine at uh, nine uh, digital collection. Uh, Al Adab Digital Collection about uh, six six thousand uh, uh, articles of uh, al adab magazines uh, arabic collection online uh, I, I already mentioned them arabic collection with the library of Con with the new york university libraries and other seven uh, american libraries uh, joint project and the yearbook and the uh, uh, kamal jumblat papers 
uh, post, uh, posters, postcards, travel books, POHA, and refugee. Uh, the last one not uh, not shown here. Uh, it is uh, a refugee uh, cultural heritage. Finally, the digital preservation use using Archivometica. Digital preservation of library collection are implemented using Archivometica. We are, we are archiving in this space special instance, uh, both the metadata and the digital object. And we use the ARC, ARC identifier instead of handle unique identifier. And we are reusing the premise for long-term preservation metadata. AUB library's digital collection could, could be converted to linked data. All metadata of AUB library digital collection are archived in XTF, content management system, developed by California Digital Library. And we are able to convert the metadata ar uh, archived in DCXML format to RDF in order to be part of the linked data datasets. XDF allows others to harvest metadata through Open Archive Initiative uh, protocol of, uh, for, for metadata harvesting uh, the, uh, data provider through SRU interface that exposes searches to federated search engine. Here is a, an example of uh, harvesting uh, AUB metadata uh, for the digital library of the Middle East, developed by CLEAR and Stanford Library. They, they, harvest, they have harvested more than 16,646 uh, metadata instances of digi digitized and OCR Arabic article of, Arabic, of Al Adab magazine. This is an example of how it looks uh, when we harvest uh, when we harvest uh, any metadata of uh, of the digital collection. You can see here in Dublin Core information about bibliographic information about uh, one of uh, articles. You can see here title, the date, the type, the subject, the right, alphabetically uh, ordered. This is how, uh, this is the article in XTF content management system and uh, how it is, it is referred in Open Archive Initiative. When we click on uh, the unique identifier, it uh, leads us to this uh, article, digitized article and OCR article. You can search in the text it, uh, itself uh, in uh, Arabic. This is where uh, Al-Adab magazine metadata has been harvested in Digital Library of the Middle East. This is a screenshot of the American University of Beirut metadata. And uh, that's all. Thank you for uh, listening. And uh, I'm ready to answer your question, if any. Sure. Well, thank you, Basma. This is really impressive. There are so many different projects that you guys are producing and making your very precious collection available online and literally we can access it all over the world and which is really really great and so far well people can start to submit any questions or comments to the QMA if you have any and meanwhile I do have well maybe my question is a little bit loaded because since I'm a co-host I cannot even put my question into Q&A so I'm just gonna ask verbally why waiting for other people's questions coming in uh, so i really appreciate the fact that uh, 
you are really using your market records and really repurpose repurpose them for all these kind of digitized objects. So I'm just curious that uh, do you hire additional staff to do this transformation or you train the existing staff to do this part of work? And if you really train the staff, you know, because uh, do you, how do you provide the training and really transition their kind of market cataloging skill set into this kind of, you know, different kind of cataloging? Uh, we are not uh, hiring uh, any new staff. Uh, myself and uh, a colleague, my colleague in uh, uh, library uh, uh, library automation or library system, we are mm -hmm. mapping. I'm mapping. I'm doing mm -hmm. the mapping, and she's applying on uh, this space. And that's all. Mm -hmm. We don't need uh, more than wow. one person. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Yeah. Cool. But but it it is a long uh, work. It takes a lot of time. <laughs> yes, sometimes I bet. I bet. I, yes, sometimes <laughs> I can't I can't leave uh, the work <laughs> work <Yeah>. premises <laughs> because I want to finish. <laughs> yes, I, I I totally understand that, you know, yeah, yeah. Especially projects like this usually they are very they are so interesting usually you just get sucked into it and you just forget about time and then you work like eight hours straight and you didn't even realize and you really wanted to finish it and then by the time you finish it oh my god i have been sitting here for six hours something like that yeah i can totally relate to that yeah and uh, well the other question i have is probably a really silly question but uh when you talk about those uh out of copyright uh books for digitization do you use some kind of automatic way to extract data or to identify books that are out of print, oh, sorry, out of copyright? Or you just, uh, you know, what's the method you use to identify these kind of out of print, uh, out of copyright books for digitization? Uh, we have only one project for uh, digitization of books. This is for the New York University. Uh, we uh, we sent to the New York University our collection uh, dated before '56, uh, mm -hmm. and they they check the copyright under their responsibility. And yeah. we are now uh, uh, completing or. Uh, and we have more than 70% of the uh, titles to be digitized and uh, making metadata. Uh, mm -hmm. So it is not our responsibility because we are not involved with copyright. We don't want to, to make any uh, copyrighted uh, digitization. <laughs> Only yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, cool. Thank you. Uh, also, I I saw one question coming in. So this question is from Francis. Uh, how did you get started? Did someone contact you from PCC or was there an invitation to participate in the PCC R, uh, URI project? Yes, uh, I received one one day. I received uh, from PCC. I don't know the. I don't remember now the the name of the uh, of the person. Uh, a survey to uh, to fill. And I was uh, very, uh, uh, very interested by this survey, and I I decided to uh, participate in this uh, pilot project because I like um, uh, to be part of uh, link data. I, I I want to uh, structure and enrich my uh, uh, my mark record uh, mm -hmm. mark record data. This is yeah. this was started through a survey. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I I do have a follow up question. Uh, so um, when you decide to participate in this uh, URI pilot project, did you have to talk to your uh, supervisor or the library administrator to ask for permission or support to do this project? Because apparently you are very busy already. So. Do you have to no. do any kind of correct any uh, argument? 
No, no, I didn't ask anyone because I'm uh -huh. associate university librarian <laughs> and uh, the librarian, the university librarian uh, trust me a lot. I, I think uh, I, mm -hmm. uh, he's, he's very happy now with my decision. That's awesome. That's great. Okay, so I have a comment coming in say, oh, uh, Nicole said that she agreed with me that all your projects are fantastic. Thank you for sharing them with us. It gives us some ideas of the things we can do. Yeah. Thank you. And I really appreciate that you also include the link. So, uh, so this is probably one nice thing about uh, doing this virtual conference. We can immediately see all those projects you are referring to at the same time. I'm looking at my browser and all these projects. Oh my God, I'm going to share this with my colleagues and really, you know, look into it, especially, you know, the nature of the content. It's really interesting. All right. So we have one more question coming from Shirley. Uh, how long did it take you for uh, the 1.8 million records to convert for conversion and uh, the project in completion? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> um, I think it is very uh, long time. It requires a long time, uh, but uh, I think uh, we can uh, manage to uh, to map uh, because I am uh, uh, I am interesting in mapping, and I can mm -hmm. uh, do a global uh, uh, global uh, update. Mm -hmm. But it, it, it requires to be very cautious because sometimes, for example, for the publication, we have to be sure how to to convert uh, 260 to 264 with the second indicator, which is yeah. very delicate, for example. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. But okay. other, I think uh, I'm trying now to to add for the other uh, authorities globally. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes but, sense. Cool. Mm -hmm. And so the other question from Shirley is that uh, for your local thesis and dissertation, do they have a local subject headings or do you use the LCSH for uh, you know Library of Congress subject headings with a URI? We are using the Library of Congress uh, authorities Subject for everything. Okay. Yes. Wow. So, and, oh, sorry, yeah, sorry, but, but only only for the uh, medical uh, library, for the medical, uh -huh. I mean, uh, faculty, we use uh, a uh, uh, medical uh, med medical subject oh, heading. heading. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, because a lot of libraries in U.S. cannot afford. Well, can, well, we probably are busy with something else. Lots of libraries don't use. Uh, for local thesis or dissertation, we don't really have a chance to apply LCSH. So lots of time we use some kind of local subject heading. There. So it kind of decreases the discovery of these resources. But it's great that you are able to do that for even for your thesis. That's, that's really admirable. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Any more questions or I will give people probably 15 to 30 seconds, just in case they want to send more yeah. stuff in. Thank you. It's early, still early. Sorry, well, I hope you didn't hear my cat meowing at me. <laughs> Jump out, you probably, do you have any questions? No, I don't think so. Okay, quiet, quiet. <laughs> All right, oh, okay, so, uh, so there's a quen oh, qu uh, one question from your mom. Uh, are you adding URIs from Wikidata in ISMI to your Arabic authority files in zero to four field? And zero, zero what? And zero, zero to four. Yeah, 024 is the standard number field. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, I'm adding, I have now a very big project. I extracted all my, uh, all my uh, authority, English authority. Mm -hmm. And during the Corona period, 
uh, I take advantage of uh, of my staff staying at home, and I ask them to go to Library of Congress uh, authorities and uh, mm -hmm. add uh, next to each uh, uh, each, each name uh, the URI URI in order mm -hmm. to upload them later in 024 and mm -hmm. or and uh, to uh, to uh, to add it next to authorities because uh, I know it is not uh, the the practice in the PCC URI uh, to mm -hmm. to put the, mm -hmm. zero, the zero next to a zero I mean the URI next to the authority uh, name but uh, I'm doing that to uh, enable my staff to to uh, drag it once they are uh, verifying the authority, not to go and mm -hmm. add it from the Library of Congress. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, uh, I'm sh sure I will put them in 024, the URI. Mm -hmm. Cool. Thank you. Any more questions? I'll give people 10 seconds then. <laughs> I'm taking advantage of uh, <laughs> Corona period. <laughs> I know, I know. And, you know, this period definitely make us to rethink how we can be productive. So, yeah, yeah. So it's definitely great that you will be able to really do that during this period of time. Because this is the only way to, uh, to add them, not one by one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really kind of concentrated, concentrated effort. Yeah, that's great. Cool. All right. So if there's no more question, and okay. So uh, before I close the session, uh, please give a Basma a round of applause and thanks everyone for sticking around and participating in this session. Um, there's one more session from the metadata production track, and it's a pre-recorded demo by Danush Devudi from University of Alberta. So do check it out if you are interested and also submit your question and comments through Slack channel. And have a great day and thanks everyone. Thank you.